morning and welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo. So happy to have you with us. A national day of action challenges Massachusetts and other states to fight the skyrocketing teen use of Juul and other e-cigarettes. March 20th was a day of action as local youth joined the nationwide campaign, Kick Butts Day, asking other youth to say no to Juul and e-cigarettes in general. To tell us more with us this morning via satellite is campaign spokesperson Gustavo Torres. Good morning, Gustavo. Well, thank you so much for being with us on Centro. Good morning. Thanks for having us. So, Gustavo, this is a very important campaign. Kick Butts Day always happens March 20th every year. This was a very special year because you're fighting not just cigarettes in general, but jewels specifically. Yeah, the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids uh, celebrates Kick Butts Day, the third Wednesday uh, in uh, March each year. Um, what makes this year different after 24 years is the e-cigarette epidemic. Um, we're really fighting a, a true issue across this country and in Massachusetts. Uh, e-cigarette rates of, of high schoolers are 20% are here in Massachusetts, which is equal to the national average. Um, and this is truly concerning. Um, over the last two decades, we've been able to reduce youth smoking rates um, in Massachusetts specifically to about 6%. Um, and and e-cigarettes now are threatening that progress. Um, there are studies that show youth who use e-cigarettes um, are more likely to, to use traditional cigarettes as well. Um, wow. So that's why today we are kicking Juul. Okay, so Gustavo, talk to us about the fact that I understand that one Juul has the nicotine of 20 cigarettes. I think that's so important for for our youth to know. Correct. I, I think this is the, the, there's so many misconceptions about e-cigarettes, but Juul specifically, one Juul pod, the amount of nicotine in that pod is the equivalent as a full pack of cigarettes. So it delivers a very powerful dose of nicotine, which nicotine is addictive. It has adverse effects on the developing brain. Um, but also there's not a lot of long-term studies to really showcase um, the impact of e-cigarettes as a whole. And so this is why we need to have more and more conversations about this. Exactly. Um, Young people um, need to be able to, to know what they're really getting into. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions. It's harmless water vapor, but it's simply just not true. Yes. So tell us, for those people out there who don't know the difference, what is the difference between a jewel and vaping? For, because a lot of people are confused between vaping and e-cigarettes. Well, e-cigarettes and vaping and jewels, they are all the same thing. Okay. Um, they uh, produce a, a vapor, so while some um, e-cigarette devices produce these big clouds of smoke, um, what Juul has been able to do is create a device that creates really small vapor um, clouds, um, so it dissipates really quickly. But as young people are reporting all across the country, and even in Massachusetts, they smell the, the fruity flavors of... Um, <laughs> Yes. the mint and mango yes. um, in their schools. Yes, I actually wanted you to highlight that because I understand that obviously because it could smell like cherry or vanilla or strawberry. They really don't feel like they're smoking, right? Right, and that's the thing is, you know, we, we've been able to ban, you know, flavored tobacco cigarettes, um, knowing that they do appeal to kids. And this is one thing with e-cigarettes is there's over 15,000 flavors on the market. Wow. Um, so I don't know about you, but when you think about a gummy bear flavored e-cigarette or a yes. cotton candy flavored e-cigarette, yeah. I really do think that this is appealing and marketed towards kids specifically, getting them addicted to a, a lifetime of addiction to nicotine. Gustavo, one last minute message for our youth out there who's watching you. Well, we encourage you to stand up and speak out against Big Tobacco. Don't fall victim to Big Tobacco's marketing tactics. Um, understand that these products are really highly addictive, and together we can create the first tobacco-free generation. Thank you so much, Gustavo, for being with us. It was such an important topic. Thank you. Thanks for having us. For more information about the Kick Butts National Campaign, you can use the info that's on your screen. You can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages. Visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash centro. There you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can watch both the English and the Spanish versions of Centro. And we also want to invite you to connect with us on social media. That's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that will do it for this week's Centro. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.